Hey buddy, this is John of Planet Tech, and we're back here with another tutorial. This is the recasting game, recasting game maker. Now, I did the, a video about this a little while ago, but I want to do a full in depth video, and we're actually going to be making a game uh, with this, and then the Copper Cube Engine, because you can actually create a well, not 100%. It's just like ray casting. You can create a very, very similar game, imported to the Windows Store and Android and a whole bunch of other places. But we're going to be creating pretty much the same exact, you know, level by level game and seeing how each one works. Now, the recast and Game Maker, while it would be super awesome on Android, even though there are games out there that go beyond like the, like the Doom 1, 2 type, you know, simple sprite FPS games, people still actually like them because they play very, very well on lower end mobile uh like phones so you're not stuck to like 2d games you know like the old like uh game boy games you can actually play fps uh shooters and they can look you know pretty good because even the mobile and processors can render decent uh sprites in a, in a fps setup while jumping to the full 3d while they can handle a sprite or what, what we're going to be calling a plane. So take a sheet of paper, instead of laying it flat, you're going to lay it, ver uh, lay it vertically. So it's standing up tall. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be better because that's easier to render than a full 3D model. Uh, something like Quake would be even like, you know, well, you could still do that. It would, a lot of models and then environments and you get like a low texture resolution and it would look all, you know, muddy and everything. Meanwhile, you hit to the simple, have a couple planes, you know, a simple environment. You could actually make it look very nice using, you know, high res uh, textures and, you know, a simple story and line and everything. Now I'm going to go over the positives and negatives like I do out, out of every single game engine uh, before we actually get into the tutorial. The recasting game maker, while it's relatively actually easy, easy to use, it does have some annoyances. You do have to use the same t uh, texture resolution for all the weapons. So if it says like on the sprites, um, you use a 128 by 148, you actually have to do use that. You also have to use the exact same sprite. You cannot save over. You have to actually drag and drop. So I replaced um, all the weapons. Actually, these I can delete. So these all had to be 128 by 148, and we're going to actually do a couple other weapons. You basically just have to re uh, replace all these sprites with the sprites of your own. You can't, like, add in anything else. So it's very limited on that bit. However, if you just want to keep it simple and silly, you're fine. Um, it has a menu maker, a color adjuster, so you could pretty much uh, get similar colors. Like if you're going with a color scheme, however, you could do that with a kind of like a Game Boy color changer or something like that. Uh, and then the recasting Game Maker actual engine that you see right here. So it imports, it just has like walls and then you can create uh, like enemy animations, like the walk, the attack and the die. So very, very simple setup. You know, you can set up uh, about six different weapons and then you can have health icons ammo we'll set up some enemies some doors so we have a next level door then we have an actual door to like a you know a room or something like that and we have a key so you need to save that world, save world to level one, overwrite it, create a create the actual file. The did zone, save, overwrite the existing one, execute file. This is all the simple stuff. We pick up our weapon. We're gonna fix that a little bit later. And we have to actually pick up the, you can't pick up ammo before you have to do it afterwards. So basically once you collect the weapon, you can select it.
So we killed the bad guys. Pick up, pick up the key, and then we're going to go to the next level. And as soon as we pick up some ammo. So it's very much like um, the original Wolfenstein, if you ever played that, it's like the original one. So we're gonna be creating a game. Uh, there's an F. I want to do something sci-fi-ish, but also ha was given a huge like archive of RPG based sprites. So we're gonna be probably maybe doing something like that. Um, I know John Carmack created a kind of like uh, Wizards and something ray casting based game for the Game Boy. So we may do something fantasy based, and then we're also gonna be doing this in the Copper Cube game engine. which is a full 3D engine, but will handle rendering 2D sprites in the 3D world with relatively with relative ease, and we can easily make it in the level maker. So we can create a room, so a room mesh from a 2D map, we can do that and do it quite easily. Um, so, that's just a little rundown. I'm going to do everything. Uh, it's been busy kind of this week with school and everything. So this is just the intro video. Expect part one uh, tomorrow. And then we will move on from there. It's going to be relatively an easy three to four videos uh, for the Raid Casting Game Maker. We're going to go fully advanced on it. Explore everything. Uh, the guy hasn't actually uh, developed it are continued developing it so it's pretty much what you see is what you get because putting uh allowing you to be able to port to android would mean a lot of actually decent decently looking games because the raycasting game maker has actually put out a lot of good pc uh very simple fps shooters and explorers however you can you do not have support for npcs or any sort of like text-based reading, you know, you read a sign that says, this door is closed, please select, you know, or gate key, the blue key or whatever, or talk to this person. You just can't do that. So that's why I've decided to also do this with their um, Copper Cube engine, because then we can actually set up like little mini adventures or request from say scientists or something like that. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Like, subscribe, comment down below. I wanna get back into doing tutorials and a couple game walkthroughs while I go through my accounting classes. So have fun guys.